The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found, <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we explored the Emerald Forest, collected the emeralds, and found Bernito's fire, and we were able to recreate and build George's sword thingy, which allows us to more strongly fight monsters. Also, off camera, like I said, I would I would go ahead and fight some battles, and I wound up getting to level three. There's my sword stats for those of you curious. By the way. It has occurred to me that this is the third demo I've played this season. It's, it's, uh, this almost should be called the season of demos, but there's still going to be a few games that are finished in this season. Anyway, let us find out what is to the right. It's the overworld. And we got super, uh, Mario and Luigi music. Emerald Forest, which we just came from, Dark Tower, and Moon Village. Also, another save point, because... Why not? I'm fine with there being save points. There's You can't have too many save points. Oh yeah, also this demo is abandoned. That's important. And it was created by Royal Land Gold Pyramid. So that's cool. Now which way do I want to go? I'm going to get this treasure first off. 200 silver? Sure. What's this? Snowland, formerly known as Iceland. Formerly, formerly known as Iceland. <laughs> and let's see here. Death Mountain and Infinity Town. People were talking about Infinity Town, so maybe we'll be going to that way shortly. Got some cheese. Moon Village is that way. What's down here? Hmm. That one person was right. There's a lot of broken bridges around here. Alright, so we have the option of going north and we have the option of going east. Let's start with north. That's a big old canyon, and a silver treasure chest. That's gotta be really special. Gold mine, no entry. Alright, no entry then. Big valley. Dark towers up here. I imagine most of these places aren't actually going to exist because of this being abandoned. Oh wow. That's quite an interesting view there. Oh, wait, it's not a view. It's trickery. We're like going up to the entrance of Dark Tower like that. Dark Tower. Danger. Nobody uses the front door. We use the back door, which is just to the right of here. But we aren't going to be able to get in there yet. I like that uh, visual trickery there. Saharasa Desert. And I got Choco Cake. What is Choco Cake? Recovers all HP, MP, and cures all side effects for the entire party. So they're a Mega Elixir. Or, if you would, a Kiro Kiro Cola. 200 silver. Ooh. I got a bronze medal! armor you know I just noticed that you have these numbered as in they're numbered in the inventory or something like that a bronze medal to give you a little feeling of accomplishment increases my luck some luck is good to have oh all right Oh, the tower's not locked? I can just go through the... Wait. But there's also the guard that I was told to talk to.
Password? Sleepa does what Dream 10 don't. <laughs> man, oh man. Correct. Oh, that was pointless. Oh, we're actually going around back. Huh. Dark tower. Back door. Th that What? You open the door and it's just a wall. Oh, so more Mario and Luigi music. Up we go. Hmm. So, Omega, how did you do? I failed yet again. He woke up at the last second. You are a terrible dream hunter, you know that? You just fail and fail and fail. We will never get all the suns with DHs like you. I'm sorry, boss. And don't call me boss. Call me my, my full name. The Final Boss. The Final Boss? I know I can do better. I just need to work harder. Well, I just hope your daughter will be better than you. She's turning 45 days old today, isn't she? Yep, today is a day when I tell her about the second objective. And she may become a dream hunter as well. But if she isn't good, you only blame yourself. You may go now. Alright. So what is the second objective? Hmm. That is interesting information there, Royal Land. Hey! You can't just go into the biggest town in Dream World without a pass. Alright. Well, that leaves only one path to take. More Overworld. Rocky Ruins, Moon Village, and Fire Temple. Well, we're not going to the Rocky Mountains, and... Fire Temple is probably also going to be blocked. Yep. Only a dragon's fire can open the way to the fire temple. Can I just use my sword? I don't know what that treasure down there is, but I want it. Mm. Alright. Moon Village. Save there, and let's explore. Now, this house seems a little unfinished. I have a feeling I'm getting to parts of the game that were n a little unfinished. This person's blocking a door. That must mean that door's important. Oh wow, this town is really unfinished. That's what happens when you play an abandoned demo. What do you do when things get too hard? Press F12 and your game will restart. To the title screen, you will return. If you don't save, your progress will burn. Daddy! You're home! So, did you give a good dream to somebody? I did. That's great! Alice, we need to talk about something important. What? Alice, you're 45 days old today. You know, I find it interesting how the humans in the X-World calculate time in months and years when all we need are days. And also the really different aging systems. For humans, 45 days is considered baby, but for us it's considered teen. So, do they die at uh, 100 days or something? Oh, talk to old lady first? Alright. Hey, remember that F12 we were told about? I'm waiting for the museum to open. 
Isn't that it? I like how when you open the door, there's not actually anything inside the door. Ooh, treasure. 200 silver. Got two chocolate bars and got chocolate cake. What do the chocolate bars do? Restores all HP. That's nice. Oh, treasure here. Three apples, two oranges, and it's a communication crystal. Alright, back to the middle of this cutscene that we were interrupted in, and hello, Hank Millennium 2000. Alice, listen. Sorry, I'm listening. Today is a day you must learn about the second objective. The what? It means the day you will learn about the true meaning of our world. What are you talking about? This world, the true purpose. It's not what you think anymore. What the hmm are you talking about? Hey, watch your language, young lady. Come down. I'll explain everything. But first, I want you to recap what you know about this world. Uh... Tell me everything you remember me telling you about this world. Uh... Okay. The X-Universe is made up of two worlds, the X-World and the Dream World. We all live in the Dream World and the humans live in the X-World. Yes, that is true. Now tell me about Dream Hunters. Why are you asking me this anyway? I need to make sure you understand everything. Now tell me more. Okay. Every time somebody is X-World goes to sleep, the Dream Hunters go inside their dreams. 90% of Dream Worldians are Dream Hunters. How do Dream Hunters go into humans' dreams? Well, first the final boss uses his purple crystal to create an environment inside a human's head. And then he uses the crystal to open a portal. To send dream hunters inside humans' dreams. And then the dream hunters interact with humans. They make things actually happen in humans' dreams. They can give them adventures, ideas, memorize. Anything that humans dream about is all thanks to the dream hunters. Yep. Now, what's this about the second objective? See, here's the thing. 2,753,438 days ago, I'm going to insert a little cache in here to measure that in years. When the final boss became in charge of the Dream Hunters, he thought, These two worlds, can't there be a way to merge them into one? What? And he found a way. He discovered that the humans have a weird energy in them. He called this energy Sun Energy. And it was possible for Dream Hunters to... Gather the Sun Energy from humans. And then take the suns out of the Dream and into Dream World. Ever since then, Dream Hunters have been gathering these suns and putting them in the Sun Container. What? Why? I don't get it. It is done to connect the worlds. What? Here's how it works. The Sun Energy will be gathered in the Sun Container. And our world is filled with Moon Energy. We have been gathering suns for a really long time, but we still don't have enough. We need to get the same amount of suns as we have the moons. Then, we will be able to combine the sun energy with the moon energy. And so, we'll be able to put all the humans in our world. And that is the second objective. But, 
But Dad, why would anyone want to put humans in our world? Not just put them in our world, trap them in our world. All we need is to gather that much sun energy from them. But, but why? Because, <laughs> I'm sorry, Hank kind of, Hank's last message there kind of made me chuckle. Because this is what the final boss came up with, and he's right, you know. This will connect the worlds into one grand world. Which will have both Dream and X and uh But won't that defeat the purpose of this world? Won't this world get destroyed then? I mean, the purpose of the Dream world is to go inside humans' dreams. That would be impossible if humans would end up in this world. Then what purpose will the world have? Look, the final boss knows what he's doing. He knows that when we create the grand world, it will be amazing, and a lot bigger. The first objective, simple interactions with humans. No one even cares about it anymore. In fact, it was when the second objective started that we are called dream hunters. We used to be called dream characters. But, look, in five days you will go on your first mission as a dream hunter. You need to be ready. Dad, I don't like this. It's what 90% of us are doing, and since I am a dream hunter, I want you to be one too. No exceptions. I have to leave now. My best friend is missing, and I am going to see if I can find him. Bernito went into Emerald Forest, and Nev came back. And there are weird monsters there that are trying to kill everyone. But that hasn't happened since... So stay away from Emerald Forest. Wait. Hasn't happened since when? And this second objective. They have phones? Oh, the crystals. Hello? Alice, it's me. Josh, listen, I just found out Something shocking. Do you mean TSO? What is TS? Wait, yes. I just found out as well. Josh, I think that we should talk about it, but not here. Come to Grey Cave, okay? Um. That way we can discuss it with no one listening to us. Just please come, okay? Bye. Well, I guess I'll go there. Interesting. Now we have control of Alice. This seems like a good point to end the episode. Also, I'm going to reload my last save to take that piece of equipment right back off of her daddy because I kind of want it. So, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, like, comment, or subscribe. A little friendly attention can help bring me even more. And for even more Let's Playing goodness for myself and from others, check out rbgmag.com. Link is in the description. Next time, we're going to go to Grave Ca I completely forgot to actually unequip that thing that I said I was resetting to unequip. Let's try that again.